Today I found vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs at Walmart. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today, as you guys saw in those clips, I found a lot of awesome blisters at Walmart. So here's one of them, a Raging Battle blister pack all the way back from 2009 was in Walmart. So I don't know if this is a reprint or just one they repackaged. It's definitely repackaged at some point, but very cool, plus a lot of other stuff. But first I'll be doing a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite pack that I found at Walmart. Raging Battle is a good option, but there's a lot of other cool ones. Okay, let's start off with this Shining Victories blister pack. So this is one that includes includes also those bonus cards, kind of like the old Legacy reprints, except it's sort of a newer pack. It's only 2016, so it's not quite so old. We have Flamville Dragon Officer Super Rare. That's cool that it's actually a super. Then we have a Vorticular Drum Gone. Dr that sounds like a Digimon or something. Swordsman of Landstar. Very nice. And Cyberstall Cyclone. A lot of older cards there. That's pretty cool. Then we have our Shining Victories Booster Pack. This is actually pretty exciting. Let's see if we can pull something pretty awesome. Because inside you can get the Crystal... Is it Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon? You can get... What's the blue eyes card? It's blue eyes Spirit Dragon. There we go. Protector with eyes of blue. That's another blue eyes card. We got the Despot. But 009. Whoa. We got hit with it right there. Okay. Lunalite Black Sleep. Sheep, I should say. Priestess with eyes of blue is super rare and a Morphage Envy. So we are starting off unable to talk, but this is a pretty cool card. Next up, I found some Brothers of Legends. I figured we'd go for that Forbidden Droplet, or you never know. We could pull that Dragoon, which would be pretty insane out of just a couple of blisters. Brothers of Legends. I do like the look of them. I like the colors. Looks like, you know, like Sherbert ice cream or something like that. You guys know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know what I'm saying or not. Penguin Sword. Fossil Dig. Astrophia. Yowie! We got the Yowie! Okay, next up we have the Secret Forces. So this is an interesting little set here. So it's a reprint set, sort of. It has like Secret Rare and four Super Rares. I'm not sure. I can't remember. We got the Elitchery. Oh, we Rux and Special right past the Dino Might Knight, the True Draco Fighter. Okay, World Dino Wrestling, Predaplast, and Tricky Spell Number Four. Okay, nothing too crazy there. After that, we have our Secret Forces pack. So I don't know if the Secret Rare comes at the front or not. I guess we're gonna let's just play it safe and move the first card to the back. Let's go. Dijin Enchanter of Rituals, Gishki Chain, Soul Release, pretty cool, the Shurit Strategist of Necros, and the Yosenju Kama 2 Secret Rare, so it was at the front. Okay, let's do one we have not opened, King's Court, we have not pulled anything good out of King's Court in a long time, ever since like the very first openings, which was at this point a really long time ago, it was like nine months ago, it was like summer of 2021, it's crazy how time has flown since then to be honest, it's pretty nuts. We got a King's Knight. We got a Converging Wishes. The Baxia. These kind of sets just haven't done us, you know, very well. Except that one last case of Grand Creators, which was pretty awesome. Arsenal, Potted... Did we get something? Rivalry of... <gasps> Collector Rare Rivalry of Warlords! Oh my goodness! Whoa! Speak of the devil! We said, oh, we haven't gotten anything good in a while. But that is a really good one. A Collector Rare Floodgate. I know you guys love this card. Man, that is exciting. I was not expecting that. At first, I didn't see it. I was like, Rivalry is super rare. Why is it at the end? Okay, that's nice. It has been a long time since I've had a good pull from like an actual Walmart blister that I bought. So that is some redemption. Maybe it's some good luck from our Walmart scam video we posted the other day. They're kind of redeeming us a little bit. We have the White Dragon Ninja. We got the Flamvel Dragon off again. It's the same card. It's kind of weird. Uh, DD Vice Typhoon and Three Strikes Barrier. Now let's go into our... Secret Forces pack. I don't know what the best card out of here is, to be honest. What is good out of Secret Forces? We have Gishki Chain, Spiritual Beast Can Hawk. These sets are usually pretty good with reprints. I don't know what the reprint is, though. The Exa Enforcer of Necros and Spiritual Beast Ulti Apelio. Some of these... Where did I get Spiritual? I guess if you put SP in front of Rituals, Spiritual... No, that wouldn't work. That would not work. <laughs> All right, so uh, unfortunately, that did not work, but that's okay. We still have more Brothers of Legend. I can't believe we pulled a Collector Rare. That's actually insane. One out of three boxes. That's super lucky. I will take that. Plus, we got some vintage packs to open. This has just been, so far, pretty awesome. The Icebound God. We got the uh, Sylphid Wind, the Downer and Magician, and Infernoid Tierra. I have some Ultimate Rares of this card. I think this came out of uh, the Secrets of Eternity. I think that's what it is. We got another King's Court. Could you imagine if there was, like, multiple Collector Rares? And then the God cards. I almost forgot about those. Those are potentially in here. Wow, a rivalry of warlords too. That's such a cool one. I I'm really happy about that. Let's go. We've got a cloud castle. We've got a number F0 utopic future. Number 39 utopia. Eternal bound. Queen's knight. Pendulum. Do we get something else? 
Okay, maybe not. Maybe they just always are at the end in this set, which is a lot better than what they did with Grand Creators, where it, like, changes spots. Also, if you guys have not heard, they have announced YCS Charlotte, so I am probably going to be in YC at YCS Charlotte, assuming that uh, they don't cancel it like they have been before, canceling stuff after they bring it back. But if they don't do that, I mean, I hope you guys show up to that. We can hang out, you know. I want to meet you guys if I've never met you, of course, so show up. Let's go. Secret Forces. Give us something epic. I don't know what is epic, but I'm sure there's something epic out of here. Let's see. Soul Absorption. Gishki Vision. Vanity's Emptiness. That's a pretty good card for sure. And the Myosinju Dieback. 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 Don't know. Now it's time to open something that I've been wanting to open for a while. These random packs. 25 cards plus one rare card. I'm pretty sure that we're going to get basically scammed out of this. This was like, I think it was like six, seven, eight bucks. I didn't even like check the price, but it was like way too much, whatever it was. Let's see. So I don't know if it's going to reveal our one rare right off the bat. Let's see if we can avoid looking at it right off the bat. So one rare and 25 other cards. So does that mean they all have to be commons? I mean, they're probably going to be commons even if they don't have to be let's see is this let's not reveal okay what is it is this at the front is that our, is that our non-regular no are you kidding me <laughs> maiden white Sun legend wow so they're okay blue eyes white dragon that's cool they're basically selling bulk at like six dollars for 26 cards <laughs> that's a good deal for them i'm not gonna lie those might be the least worth it things you can ever buy. Like, that's insanely bad. Like, I think I'd rather buy fake cards, like, off Walmart.com than buy that. That's just so bad. Oh, my goodness. Burst of Destiny. I got some of these. Can we pull that Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer? It's still a, an extremely popular card. I would love to pull it. It's pretty cool. We could get a Starlight out of here as well. That would just be insane. That would be insane. Night Flight. Magical Cylinders. Sign at Crosswipe. Sword Soul Assessment. Oh, a Sword Soul Emergence. Okay, that's a pretty decent card. We'll take that Ultra. I think that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, we'll take that for sure. So this opening going pretty well. I mean, obviously, we got that insane pull. Outside of that, we've pulled a few decent things. Let's see if we can step it up and pull something crazy. We've got the White Dragon Ninja Flame Veil Dragon off. Uh, not too much outside of that, but that's kind of what we expect out of those. Secret Forces. Let's go. Can we get a secret rare? Out of, well, we will get a secret rare. But can we get a good secret rare, I should say? Let's go with Abyss Dweller. That's a pretty good card. Spiritual Beast, Apelio, Dejin Prognosticator Rituals, the Ritual Beast Bond, and Necroz of Catastor. That's a pretty cool card. I don't know if it's too valuable. All right, it's time to get to one of our vintage packs. I actually found two of these Raging Battle Packs, so let's get into the first one. It's going to have some bonus cards inside. We could pull a Ghost Rare Power Tool, which would be crazy out of, like, just a couple of packs. We have a Morph Fades Leechery. Brother of the Firefist Cardinal. Okay, Token Collector just got reprinted, or else that would be, like, really expensive. That would be a nice card. Uh, we're still going to pull it aside. And Hourglass of Courage. Okay, Raging Battle. Let's do this. Let's get a Ghost Rare. Let's get a Power Tool Dragon. A lot of cool cards out of this set. Let's see what we can actually pull. We have the Wonder Clover. Evil Thorn used to be worth a lot of money. Now it's been reprinted. Black Whirlwind. The G oh, the Green Bay Hunter. Okay. The uh, Double Tool CD. The Morphtronic Bind. Trap Stun. Cool card. Oh, and an Ultra Rare. Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. Boom. That is not bad. We will take an Ultra out of a Vintage Pack. And a Moha. That's pretty awesome. Just check out that artwork. Straight from Walmart. 2009. Shining Victories. Let's do this. Shining Victories give us an amazing pull. We have the Heraldry Record. The Phoenix Beast. Forbidden Apocrypha. Perform a pal. Ancient Beasts. And Shinobi. All right. All right. All right. Now, Pack. Bless us with something amazing. This trip to Walmart was not for nothing already. But let's make it maybe even less than not for nothing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. The Re-Dice Cycle. I don't remember that. Re-Dice School. Re-Dice School. Dice Clops. Protected with Eyes of Blue. Gear get Change. Rise to Full Height. Just get taller. The Lunar Light Tiger. Oh! and specialed right to the crystal wing synchro dragon secret rare what an opening from just a few walmart packs unbelievable wow this is going really well and i think i showed up at walmart i was going to get some boxes and envelopes to actually get these and i showed up at the perfect time because i think the guy had just been there or something like that because there was a ton of packs like i obviously got like 25 packs and there were still so many left so that was actually really exciting for once to see packs out walmart i wasn't even going there for the packs I just happened to see them, and I was like, oh, this is exciting. Noble Knights and 
Grandpa the Meadow. Secret rare. All right, Grandpa, I see you. We still have the King's Quart. The Quartz of the King. Let's see if we can find something epic. We already pulled really well out of these, so I expect nothing, but I am hopeful for everything. If you guys know what I'm saying. That's a sounds like a wise quote, but it's not. It's just a quote about opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Reinforcement of the Army. Baxia. We got the Jax Knight. Ties of the Brethren. And an XC's Hyper Cannon, super rare. All right, not crazy, but we already pulled that collector rare. Okay, back to the Burst of Destiny. Last time we got an ultra rare. That's not bad. That's not terrible. We could pull a Starlight rare out of this one, which would be insane. I've only ever pulled Starlights when I buy cases. Never pulled one out of a loose pack. So if you've done that, let me know in the comments. That means you're crazy lucky. That means you have the luck of the of the Irish, you could say. <laughs> Danger. Okay. Knight Sword. That's like a Notre Dame thing. Alright. Flow Dereese. We got the Flu Dereese. Toucan. We got the Abyss Keeper. Didi Assault uh, Carrier. The Ice Jade. The magic -y Spirit of Apartu. Alright. The Vapartu. Not what we're looking for. But don't worry. We still have Brothers of Legend. The Karibo Brothers will provide something amazing. Come on, Karibo Brothers. Bless us with something epic. I believe that you will give us a Dragoon. Let's see. The Zexel Catapult. Ice Knight. Curry B. ZW. D4 Secret Rare. The D Force, but not the Droplet. King's Court. Let's go. Can we pull you? Can we pull something epic? The King of the Court. The Court of the King. Let's pull a God card. We have a Majestic Dragon. A Cloud Castle. Number F0. Utopia. We got the Bond. The Queen's Knight. Then the XC's Hyper Cannon again, another same super rare. That's okay, we can't complain because we still have more packs to go and we've already pulled some really good stuff today. Let's see if we can continue that trend and pull something amazing. I think we can do it out of Burst of Destiny. There's a lot of options of cards to pull. Here we go. Wait, let's do it like this. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can pull that epic Starlight, that secret rare. What's his name again? The Destroyer of Phoenix Enforcer, the Keeper, the Assault Carrier, the Ice Jade, the Giant. The Reptilian Ramifications. Okay, the ramifications are that we pulled nothing. Our last King's Court of the opening. Already done so well out of the set. I can't ask for anything else, but I can also still hope for something. So let's see. Will it be in this pack? This set has given us some good luck today. Infinite Cards. Warrior Returning Alive. Converging Witches. The Unexpected Dike. And Stellar Tome. We've got the Queen's Knight. The White Rose Cloister. All right, Cloister, that's Pokemon, not Yu-Gi-Oh. Get that out of here. All right, Karibo Brothers. Karibo Brothers, we believe in you. Curry Babylon. Let's do this. We believe in the Dragoon. Bless us with that Dragoon. We've had... Oh, it's the uh, the Monarch guy. The Hidden Fangs of Revenge. I can't pull, pull these cards. Rank of Magic. The Gadaria. And the Double Exposure. That's a cool artwork, but uh, not the card we're looking for. Four packs to go. We have a Secret Forces. This is the last one of the opening. So far, not really anything good that I've noticed. There could have been something good that I didn't know was worth something. We have a Necros Kaleidoscope that goes well with this pack. And the Hieratic Dragon of Tefnuit. The Warrior Digrepher. The Millennium Shield. Ugly artwork. And... Okay. Let's go. Secret Forces. Let's do this. Secret Rare. Was it at the front? I can't remember. Let's do this. Dejin. Ritual Beast. I'm pretty sure it was at the front. Kanahawk. Yosenju and... Yosenju comma one. So we got one and two in the Yosenjus. Last three packs. Burst of Destiny. Come on, Destiny. Please burst... Never mind. Let's just open the pack. Let's just pretend like I didn't say anything. Burst of Destiny. Let's go. Give us something amazing. I believe in the Starlight. Here we go. The Penguin Ninja. The Laundry Trap. The Ice Shade. Magic key locking the Gunkin Susha, break the destiny, heritage of law, flip frozen, for wonderies in the unexplored worlds. That's way OC, actually. That's kind of weird. Look how thick that is. All right, final two packs. We have the Raging Battle, and we have a Fusion Enforcers, which, if you don't know, can contain that Alistair the Invoker and many other invoked cards, which is why it's one of my favorites. Pretty exciting to see it, because it is a 2017 set. Pretty old. Five years at this point. Let's see what our bonus cards are. Twilight Ninja. That was the only... Super rare. The rest are commons. They lied. They lied to us. Two rares. There's only one. This is unbelievable. I'm very angry about this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Where's our other rare? All right. If the rares are the front, let's do that. Edge M Chain. I remember this card. Instant Fusion. That's a good print of it. Okay. Lone Fire Blossom. Another good print of it. Super Solar Nutrient and... 
Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. Okay, nice secret rare. Not the invoke stuff we're looking for, though. Final pack of the Walmart opening. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Hopefully, I'll be able to find more stuff at Walmart. It is pretty tough these days, but occasionally I get lucky like today, and we get some pretty awesome packs. So we have Mayakashi Winner and Chain Hole. Then we have, we didn't get scammed on this one. That's nice. Then we have our Raging Battle Pack. Last time we got an Ultra Rare. Can we get a Ghost Rare? An Ultimate Rare? A Secret Rare? Any of those are available in this pack. So let's see if we can do it. Here we go. I think it was actually a Rare before the Foil this time. So let's go like that. Wonder Clover. Tuner Capture. This is a 2009 pack. 13 years old at this point. Miracle Lotus. Junk Box. Master Gig. Attack of the Cornered Rat. Morphtronic Repair Unit. Snowman Eater, I need this card. I just bought him, though. That's still nice for Edison. And finally, Automatic Laser, but I'll take it. The Snowman Eater is actually pretty awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos. Shout out to CCG Trusted Cards, Tone Full Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Anunatai Show, JT Cho, and Anima the Hollow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.